Welcome to Digital Asset News, take the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Tonight, we've already done the news uh, as far as it was. It is Monday, February 22nd. It is uh, almost 6 p.m. El Paso, Texas time. Now, we already know that the market took a little bit of a dip, and we talked about it today, about how it really doesn't matter because in the long run, it'll always bounce back. Not always, but... For the most part, it'll bounce back. And uh, you just have to remember that uh, these things happen. In, in cryptocurrency digital assets, in the crypto market in general, um, you know, 10%, not a big deal. 20%, you know, something. 30%, 40%, you know, now I'm listening, all that stuff. Uh, it's just, it's just, just, just how it is. This isn't the traditional market. And, uh, you know, if you only lose if you sell and you just get, you know, petrified by what's going on. But just remember, uh, when in doubt, zoom out, take a look at the charts, see how many of these massive dips have we've already taken, 40, 50, 60%. And you know, over time, it usually rebounds. And that's exactly what is happening today. So uh, don't get too concerned about it. It's just, it is what it is. And just write it out, just write out the storm. Don't sell uh, if, if, if you can, not a financial advice. I, I don't usually, I don't sell. And uh, that's what it is. But um, today or tonight, I want to talk to you about the Voyager loyalty program and what is going on with that. And as far as like what I think is the most exciting, which is the 7% uh, yield uh, for interest. And just as a quick reminder, as we can take a look at the actual uh, what happened today, <laughs> we had Bitcoin, I mean, almost about 59,000. Then it went down to 49,000, lost about 10, about 10,000. And here we are. And then Ethereum took a big hit. I mean, they were at like almost, they, they were at 2,000 because I sold some Ethereum. And then, then uh, you know, Binance, Coin, and everything else. And we, we see here, there's, I mean, as far as like the 24-hour uh, change, we're pretty massive, except for XRP. XRP is up for 3%. What are you going to do? Hey, that is what it is. XRP Army, congratulations, all that good stuff. Litecoin's down, Bitcoin Cash is down, 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 down. So, of course, Crypto.com is up because they have that uh, massive 70 billion coin burn that's going to go on. Uh, good for them. And then they're going to have a mainnet launch in March 31st. So just remember that uh, usually, not all the time, but usually uh, a lot of people will buy into that. And then right before the mainnet launch, they'll pull the rug and they'll take all their money out. So it's a, it's a dangerous play. And that's something I do. And uh, I don't recommend it, but uh, it is out there for you. So uh, that's what's going on in the market. But uh, let's take a look here. Let's see if we can find uh, Voyager. And it should be somewhere. Hey, look at that. It's 49th. Hey, hit, hit the top 50. I remember when, when I talked about Voyager the very first time was on January 7th, my price prediction point. And it was at 29 cents. I said, it's going to 30 bucks. People are like, you're insane. And uh, they're half right. But I mean, in all honesty, it did do pretty well. Now it's in the top 50. So that's pretty great, huh? So uh, $6. Whoops, hold on. Let me. Sorry, you can't see it. There it is, Voyager token. It's uh, number 49. Uh, but it, you know, it took a hit like everything else, but still bullish on the sentiment. So let's take a look at exactly, you know, just what I'm actually talking about here as far as the loyalty program and why I believe that 30 bucks is like beyond conservative uh, type of numbers. So let's uh, take a peek here. So first up, uh, this was a tweet that was put out. I thought it was pretty interesting. Let me blow this up so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Uh, here we go. So. It was a tweet that just talked about, hey, look, uh, when this new loyalty program comes about, we're going to see 7% yield. And that's 7% yield across the board. doesn't matter if you have 5,000 Voyager tokens or 10,000, 20,000. You're going to get 7% as, as long as you hold one Voyager token, you know, a minimum. And uh, this person just said, hey, just it's pretty good, right? 7%. Uh, if you take X times Y, where X is the amount of coins times Y, the current price, uh, and you also multiply that uh, by 7%, divide by 12, that is how much you get per month. And then when I take a look at this, I'm like, you know, these numbers are pretty staggering because if you take a look at uh, if the Voyager token goes up to $20, I mean, you're looking at, uh, uh, well, and if you have 25,000 tokens, which is pretty tough, let me tell you right now, but you get $3,000 per month every single month, as long as it goes 20 bucks and stays around there. It goes 25. I mean, 36, 45, 50 bucks, 79, 77,000, 75 bucks, 10,000. That's a lot of money. So here, this person also put down 5,000 tokens. Let me see if I can see right here. And they said, uh, look, 5,000 tokens at 20 bucks, you're getting 500 bucks, uh, almost 600 bucks uh, a month. 
at twenty five dollars, seven twenty nine. At fifty bucks, fourteen fifty eight. I think it could be somewhere around there. So it, it just got me to thinking about okay, what? First of all, uh, it got me to think about what could potentially be. And really, what we have to do is look at why is that going to happen. I've talked about this in the past about why Voyager is going to thirty dollars, and we talk, we take a look at uh, uh, Metcalf's law. And the network effect, and and the more users you have, uh, the more revenue or value goes up. However, you want to quantify that. If you want to call it revenue, sure, that sounds good. Worked pretty well for uh, uh, PayPal. We talked all about that in the video. I'll link to the very end. But what is the catalyst for that? What is going to transform this is the loyalty program. And we don't know, we can't know where we're gonna where we're going unless we know where we've been. And to do that, we need to take a look at what the old loyalty program actually was. And this is what it was. Uh, and I'm going to go over this. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the old one to the new one, and we'll just compare it right away. So, first up, they had level up rewards, and the biggest complaint was this is very weak. It is a weak level up reward because this was a long. This was this was. I mean, uh, you know, five six months ago when I got in, this was around, and the token was like a dime or something like that. So you had 25 Voyager, that's nothing. I mean, it's nothing. So what's the point of holding on to Voyager if you only need 100, 100 VGX? Who cares? It's, you know, it's, it's not going to really incentivize too many people to hold a ton. And you want people to hold <clears throat> a lot of the tokens because the more people that hold, uh, the more there is scarcity, the more the price goes up. We know the whole drill, right? So that's good. So if you only have 100, that's really nothing. So what they did is they said, okay, okay, well, here's what we're going to do as far as the tiers. What we're going to do is, and I'll have to, uh, explain right down here under the eligibility on this very last part here eligibility after that really big rock it says vgx hold quantity uh for the first level it's 500 vgx tokens not 500 bucks 500 voyager tokens that's how much you need second level navigator 5,000, and the third the highest tier is twenty thousand. now that is a lot and it wasn't a lot it was, still was a lot, actually. I mean, even at $0.29, cents, it, was a, it was a good amount of money. But now at almost $7, it's like $140,000, right? Well, I mean, yeah, about that. Okay. So $140,000 to get into the highest tier right now. That's pretty crazy, right? So, and then, you know, $5,000, you are looking at uh, $35,000 and uh, so on and so forth. So that is, uh, that is pretty hard to get. But it is one of those things to strive for and drive for. And that's the whole thing of like, you know, putting it up for interest and then kind of like having the whole flywheel effect like what Celsius always talks about. So that is that first part. Um, next part, the cash back rewards. And you see right here, like under Explore, Navigator, and Voyager, you got one basis points or one and a half uh, BPS, BIPs, basis points, three basis points, four and a half basis points. These are only fractions of a percent. You know, it's not really that much. You know, you have to really do a ton of trading to really get anything back. So. Bips, basis points, not really that big of a deal. However, we take a look at cashback on trades. Now we're looking at 1x, 2x, and 3x. So first of all, Voyager is a broker. So they're going to go through all the different exchanges. They're kind of like hotels.com of crypto, right? Like, do you want to stay at the Doubletree in Palm Beach, Florida? Well, that's cool. Uh, but there's some other different hotels around here that uh, are might be way cheaper and just as good. Go to Hotels.com. I am not sponsored by Hotels.com. But if you take a look at Voyager, it's the same type of thing. Like, you think the fees on Coinbase suck? Well, we've got some other ones here that you could take, you could really dig into. I'm not saying that Voyager is a part of Coinbase. I have no idea who they, they, they go through. I think it actually is. But uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of different ones. And they just look at, you know, a, uh, a multitude of different exchanges and they give you the best rate. And then from there... Uh, for all the trades that you do, you get 1x, 2x, and 3x, or a percentage of what is going on. So uh, when you take a look at trades, this kind of incentivizes you to do a little bit more trading, and uh, we will take that. Next part here is uh, cash back on debit cards. And well, let me let me back up. The cash back on trades, I want to make sure uh, you know. So let's say that you saved, I have no idea, let's say you saved $3 on one trade right? So on that one trade, you save three bucks by using uh, Voyager as uh, dictated by whatever the, wh whatever the price was in the spread and they, and they made some money, you made some money, everybody's good. So you get $3 back. And in the 2X, it'd be $6 and then 3 it'd be nine bucks. 
I'm not saying that's exactly what it is, but I'm just saying that is how it, it's not a percentage of a percentage, like in BIPs, it is like one X, two X, three X. Okay, so cash back on debit cards. This is pretty good. Uh, before, I don't know if they even have that. No, they just had uh, debit card fees, which was five bucks a month or 50 bucks a year, which kind of sucks to get a debit card, I think. Then free and free for the two levels. Uh, for the new one, you're looking at uh, just free across the board. Okay, or I'm sorry. Uh, free across the board plus cash back on debit cards, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, or 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. That's great. So save more money. Great. And then referral bonus, 10, 20, and 30. On the new one, it's going to be 30, 35, and 40. That's pretty darn good. And then also send to a friend. Uh, it's the same type of thing. 30, 35, 40. See, in my business, business, I will tell you like this. Uh, it's all referrals. I mean, if you can get into the referral uh, epicenter or sweet spot, you're gonna make a lot of money because really, the who do you trust more? Do you trust an ad on Google or Facebook or do you trust uh, your friend Joe down the streets like, hey man, this you, you gotta get this uh, whatever, whatever. It's really awesome. I'll try that out, Joe. That's how you get things to work, uh, referrals. So, I mean, they should pay a premium because that's where really it all comes from. All right, and then Withdrawal fee savings. So, of course, you're going to withdraw anything. Man, 10%, 20%, 30%. That's pretty good uh, back in the day. And then uh, same thing over here. Okay, I'll see that. Interest booster, 0.51 and 1.25. Interest booster, 0.51 and 1.5. So it was actually a little bit better beforehand. So that's a negative. But uh, hey, for all the positives, I'll take it. And then uh, desktop, they're going to get an actual uh, desktop mo uh, app. Instead of our mobile one, you can just trade away on your desktop. Great. That'll be free for everybody. Fantastic. And that is what's going on. So for the loyalty program, when you take a look at this, you're like, okay, what other exchanges do this? Binance does this. I mean, let's be honest. Binance does this and do it really well. And that's why BNB coin went through the, went through the roof. Also, it went through the roof because uh, they are doing a lot of different things with their um, Binance chain, which they're able to do swaps, just like on Uniswap. So like with this, uh, this is this is what I actually asked uh, Steve Ehrlich, the CEO, at uh, uh, during one of the shows for Alex Mascioli. I said, hey, I said, uh, actually, Alex asked Alex asked him and said, "Hey, are you going to be doing this? Are you going to be able to do swaps?" And Steve was like, "No." He's like, "We'll look into it, but it's very difficult as far as like tax reasons and things like that." Okay, so there, so we have that. But uh, just so you know, on top of all these things that it's, it's doing. If you take a look here, because this is the biggest question I get. Uh, where is it? Not the desktop app. So first of all, they're going to be a token burn. In an effort to help reduce the circulating supply of tokens, Voyage will introduce a 25% token burn on all BGX used to pay for withdrawal fees on the Voyager app from Voyager loyalty program members. All right. Wish they would do some more burning. Sure. And then, let's see. There's going to be a swap, which is going to happen, I believe, in the next uh, 30 to 60 days. That'll be big. LGO to uh, VGX, and then community governments, everybody's going to be able to vote on it. That's not it, though. Where the heck did it go? Oh, here it is. Very first one. Missed it. Loyalty program, VGX interest. All VGX tokens held on Voyager will automatically earn 7% annual interest yield for the first year. After the first year, the community will be able to vote on future interest yield. VGX tokens holders without Voyager accounts, will be able to stake their tokens via a web portal that connects to MetaMask. Well, that's pretty cool. So on all these things, when people are like, ah, man, that sucks. I got to get 500 Voyager tokens, which, I mean, it's like 3,500 bucks today. So I don't know what's going to be later on. But no, that's not the case. You just have to have one Voyager token and you will be able to gain that 7% yield. So on top of that, uh, there was one more thing about this loyalty program, which again, I believe utility... Uh, Pat Ackerman talks about this all the time. Utility drives um, the actual uh, token. So first you have to ask yourself, what does your utility do? What is its function? And is it actually being used for that function? Well, right now, the Voyager token is doing that uh, right back here, but it's going to be doing it even better so over here. And then on top of that, uh, the one question that I got <laughs> into Steve, well, I actually had a couple of questions. I said, Steve, I... I go, what's also is going down, down the pipe, you know, as far as like, you know, uh, new things. He said, well, there's one thing that we want to do, which is we want to be able to allow all Voyager astronauts, that's just my, my phrase, 
all Voyager astronauts to be able to uh, pay each other and have no fees. And I was like, well, well, how does that work? Because your withdrawal fees right now are kind of high. Uh, like ADA used to be 20 and you dropped down to four, which I appreciate, but USDC and all those different things are still high. He's like, well, that's true, but you know, you understand that uh, they're still on that, you know, ERC-20. They're, all, they're still ERC-20 tokens, so we have to use the uh, uh, Ethereum network and that's still expensive. He goes, that's not what we're talking about. He goes, we're not talking about doing this on-chain. It'll all be off-chain, so there'll be no fees. So if you, or if I want to send you uh, USDC, and you're a Voyager astronaut, you have your own uh, app, I can just send it to you and it's free. Or if you want to send it back to me or whatever else. So if you think about like what Venmo does, especially globally, and also the fact that Voyager is going to be moving into uh, Europe in Q2 of this year because they just purchased LGO. And on top of that, also been moving into Canada. These are exciting times. So we, talk, we think about utility, that's pretty big, right? So when I took a look at all these things, I'm like, this is pretty great. But here's this... Here's the sinker. On my Twitter account, I said, hey, can everybody help me out? Because I made this quick token calculator that tells you how much you'll make per month, depending on how many tokens you hold based on the price. And everybody went over there and they tested it out. They said, yeah, it works pretty well. The thing is, is that everybody who's, who's watching this right now, you will be able to use this, this token and uh, it's, it'll be anonymous. No one knows who you are, but as we go through this, you're, you're going to see some numbers change and it won't be me because this is on a spreadsheet, which I created, and you can only uh, really do anything with, with these two boxes, which tell me the coins you have. So let's say here, let's say I have 10,000 coins, which is pretty good, right? 10,000 coins. And, but let's say the, the, the price, well, the price right now is like six bucks, right? So per month, I'm going to get 350 bucks. It's not, it's not bad, right? But let's just say it hits my prediction, which I think it's going to hit pretty simply, at $30. That means I'm going to get 1750 bucks per month just for holding Voyager. So I have this link in the description uh, of this video. I don't know if I'm going to put it into all of them, but just so you know that as you do this, like what was fun for me is that when everybody was doing these, these things, and this was only like, like 100 people that actually saw it, on uh, my Twitter and people retweeted or whatever else. So, so you can just see like, like numbers are changing right now. It's pretty cool just to sit back and go, who's got what? And I can't tell what they are because it's all anonymous, right? I mean, when you'll see like, who's here? Anonymous dolphin, anonymous, <laughs> anonymous hedgehog. It doesn't matter. But you're going to sit back and I'm like, I don't know who's got 38,000 tokens. That's pretty good. But look at that. 38,000 tokens at 30 bucks. Uh, this person's making uh, a good amount of money. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you just uh, check that out. And the formula works. It's, it's pretty simple. It's just uh, the uh, uh, coins you have, how much you have, uh, times the price, whatever you want it to be. And then you times that by 7% divided by 12, 12 months. And that's how much you get per month. So I mean, just look at these, these things. And remember, this is 30 bucks. What do we just see with Binance coin? Went to $300. I mean, uh, OKX and Huobi token, all those things that really don't do much that Voyager can do, they're in the teens already. And they don't do, I don't think that much. So I think these are exciting times for Voyager. I know it's went a little bit long and uh, it was a lot of things about Voyager, but I think it's, so far, it's been, a, it's been one of my uh, top performers in my portfolio. So that is it for tonight. So I want to say, first of all, thanks for watching all the way through. If you like that video, uh, give it a thumbs up. It'll really help out. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things we talk about, especially at the news, is very time sensitive. So it would behoove you to get that uh, as fast as you can. Also, uh, and finally, if you like these types of videos, I'm going to put two up. One's going to be on your left, one's going to be on your right. And uh, I'll let you two do its magic. And that is it for tonight. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.